Hi, I'm John Cash. Welcome to John Cash Ministries and Revelations Church's Daily Devotion. Today's title is An Open Heart to God Brings Freedom, a Great Deal of Freedom to Our Lives. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 15 through 18, we see the secret to growing in the Lord and the freedom that it brings, the joy and the peace that it brings in our lives. In verse 15, Paul says this to the Corinthian church. He says, even to this day, when Moses is read, a veil covers their hearts. Who's there? Well, he's referring to the Jews at the time. He's referring to the Jews of his day who would listen to the reading of Moses. Or in other words, they would go into their synagogues on Saturday. That was the Sabbath. And they would listen to the reading of the Old Testament. But they could never see Jesus in that. Even the Pharisees and Sadducees in Jesus' day could not see the Messianic verses in the Old Testament about him. And the reason is because they had a veil covering their heart. What is this veil? Well, the veil covering their heart and the veil covering any person's heart is a, a blanket. It's like a dark blanket partly pride, partly ignorance, and it's even partly the inability to understand God that keeps us from understanding. It's like we we are super nearsighted. We can't see off in the distance at all, so we can't make things out. That God has to put on these spiritual glasses to give us the truth, to show us what's really there. So this veil is the inability for someone to understand God. In particular, in this verse, the inability for somebody, no matter how religious, to understand who Jesus Christ is and how he fits into the scheme of the Old Testament and, of course, the New Testament as well. So he says, look, even up to this day of this writing, they have this veil. They just don't get it. Then he says in verse 16, but whenever anyone turns to the Lord, watch this, the veil is taken away. Now, Folks, when you turn to God, when you turn to Jesus Christ in particular, the veil that's keeping you separated from God is removed. Do you remember when Jesus died on the cross? Do you remember the curtain in the Holy of Holies, how it split into two? Behind that Holy of Holies was God's presence. And God split that curtain in two so that he would come to the people, and the people would be able to come to him. Nobody dared go into the Holy Holies except the priest once a year. And so with Christ, we now have the ability to see God for who he really is. It's a great thing. Now, how does this happen? Now, folks, this is important. How do we do this? How do we have this veil removed? We have to want it. We have to humble ourselves before the Lord. We have to desire it. Look at verse 17. It says, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. When the veil is removed, when we can see God for who He really is, when we accept Him as our Lord and Savior, we suddenly have a freedom. No longer are we slaves to sin. No longer are we just religious in nature and we're just trying to obey a bunch of rules. Suddenly we have freedom. We have peace. We have joy. We have purpose in our life. You can't have that if there's that veil, like a dark blanket covering your eyes so you cannot see the truth. Then in verse 18, watch this. He says this, And we, who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his likeness with ever-increasing glory. Now watch this. It says, we all reflect the Lord's glory. Other uh, Bible verses will talk about contemplating his glory. In other words, we are desiring God's glory. When we desire more of God, then we are transformed into his likeness. We become more like God. So you got to desire it, then God will come in and transform you, and he never wants you to live a static Christian life. He always wants you to become more and more like him. So it says, with ever-increasing glory. 
You see the beauty of this. And then God reminds us it's all from him and not from us, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So folks understand that if you are being very static in your Christian growth, you're not growing any, we got to start with understanding that you might be living in spiritual slavery right now. That you need to begin to desire the things of God. And as you desire the things of God, he will begin to open up the truth to you. And then he wants you to walk into that truth and he wants you to be transformed and constantly grow as a Christian. God bless you. Thank you for your support of John Cash Ministries and Revelations Church.